as I mentioned, they look just sort of flat or lifeless. And, you know, Surface has taken a lot of grief during the, the season from people. Oh, get him out of here. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's not a, He's not any good. I'm like, this guy was a finalist for manager of the year the past two seasons in a row. And it's not because he had a loaded team. So let's, you know, there, you always right. hear that. Whoa, who, anybody could win with this group. No, no, mm-hmm. not a loaded team at all. And he finished with 90 wins, and and uh, you know they he's been in the in the final three, in in both of the uh, previous two seasons. Having said that, so I'm not going to blame him because a guy can't hit. He can only move the chess pieces around. He doesn't provide the pieces. That's coming from Jerry in the in the ownership group. He can only sit there and switch them around and try to find a combination that works. But if guys are tuning him out, if the mess, if if a team is uninspired, if they're flat, if they're lifeless. Then I'm putting that on Scott. That's him. He's the manager. He's the one who's sending the message. And if they're not receiving the message or they're ignoring the message, then maybe there's a problem there. But but in terms of a team that doesn't hit or this guy is going out there and he's, he's getting lit up as a pitcher, I can put that on Scott. He can't hit or pitch for him. And he can, again, only use the pieces he's got in front of him. But when it, when it becomes an attitude thing or it becomes an effort thing or it becomes a focus thing, that then, then I'm looking at, Looking at Scott, that's what that's where I think he's got a direct impact. And Jerry, uh, talking about a few different things on with Brock and Salk, uh, talked about players dealing with distractions and focus not always being there. But at the end of the day, it, it's going to require focus. And and right now we are distracted young players. We are we are veterans who are not having great years that are trying to figure out how to get back to their norms and. We've talked about it before. When that's happening collectively, you know, it's hard to find the, the stabilizing voice in the middle of the room because everybody's focus might be on something different than just the, the outcome of the game that night. So Jerry and Scott aren't going to throw anybody under the bus, right? Or under the table, as Lefko likes to say. But He kind of um, did there. He said the yeah. young guys are distracted and the veterans are not living up to what they've been. But it's it's very general. Uh, my point is that I guarantee you there was some specific thing that happened, and and maybe it's like there's ten of them, things that guys that you witness on the road in particular mm-hmm. that you know I, I just remember one time uh, where we had to have like a come to Jesus uh, you know meeting at when I was at Stanford it was at a bowl game and one of our linebackers had gotten in his jock strap and his helmet and his pads and was running down the hallway and he actually uh, knocked over the trainer's wife and yeah I mean it, and that it wasn't just that there was other things that were going on and so I know that there are very specific things that you know as far as saying there's a lack of focus and then he mentions the young players uh there's there's probably that kind of activity that's going on right there they're not going to tell us specifically what it is but it just you know it is a young team but i i don't i don't see that um you know i'm sure that it's something it's not just one thing it's like we saw this and we saw that and i could see service getting up there and saying hey look guys what what the hell that's the first time i've heard that from him that we as and you know he's pretty pointed with the the young guys and it just seems like a team-wide problem and uh, it's kind of surprising to me because, like I said earlier, we you know we've talked to all these guys. They seem very focused and good dudes and conscientious. And uh, that's probably what's not going on right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's happening. But if if you know he's he's kind of laying that out there that the focus isn't there and guys are distracted. I mean, we could read into that a million different ways. So I'm not yeah. gonna you know throw anybody under the bus. Say Julio's distracted and Cal's distracted. Right. And, Gino doesn't care. Or what, uh, who knows? Who knows what's going on behind there? What I do know, and everybody knows, this team as a whole is just not functioning well. Yeah. And it's not one guy. It's not, well, if Julio were better, we'd be talking about a different season. Yeah, he might have an impact in a game or two, but that doesn't help what's going on with Gino. That doesn't help what's going on with Cal. That doesn't help what's going on, you know, with Teoscar up until June and Pollock and Wong. and I mean, it's just up and down the lineup. Uh, DePoto talking about what service meant when he referenced needing to compete better it's a level of focus which i think we've all seen our team's level of focus you know it it comes and it goes and when we are really focused and we are intent in the batter's box and we are putting on good at bats we're taking the balls swinging at the strikes if our pitchers go out and drill the strike zone we generally see positive results and you know one i guess a, a trait that has has shown itself with this team is is for a three four five inning stretch or even three games 
we we teeter and we seem to disappear and, and i think when scott says compete that's what he's referencing is is it's 24 7 it's 162 games a year so why again you know i i don't blame scott when a team doesn't hit team doesn't pitch well he can't control that he can just put, right put the guys out there that he's got to work with but this is one area, and I, you know, nobody kicked and screamed harder when he didn't win Manager of the Year two years ago than me. Mm-hmm. I love Scott Service. This is on him. If the message is not getting through, and you've got guys who are focused on things other than the task at hand, yeah, that's his job. 